Hey, my name is Ray, and you're watching Rayo Books, and today's video is going to be my January TBR. Alright, so if you watched my 2023 Bookish and Lifestyle Goals, you may have noticed that one of my goals was to stick to a TBR. So here I am. I created a TBR and I hope to stick with it. And these are the books that I hope to read in this fine month of January. I would also like to say that these books are in no particular order. I don't intend to read them in the order that I'm talking about them. This is just the order in which I'm grabbing them. So bibbidi bop, boobity bop, let's go. The first book that I hope to get through is January 15th by Rachel Swirsky. Swirsky? And this is a science fiction speculative fiction literary fiction type of novella essentially it imagines as if universal basic income were a guaranteed thing for all american citizens and it follows three three women and one teenage girl throughout the course of the day january 15th which is the day that this disbursement is given to the people and it sounds really good and I do feel like one of the only ways I can actually consume science fiction is in novella format. So I am really looking forward to reading this one. Next up is Mr. Malcolm's List by Suzanne Alon. This, I saw the trailer for the movie all over my Instagram. Like it was nonstop Instagram promotion for me. And I was like, ooh, this is a blackity black cast. I really want to see this movie and then I saw that it was based off of a book and I was like ooh I gotta read the book before I watch the movie so that is why I have the book. Essentially this is a Regency era romance that has tropes of revenge, fake dating, and I think different classes is part of the tropiness of it but it sounds like it's a pretty good one. Essentially home dude Mr. Malcolm has this list which he expects all of the females that he dates to be able to meet in order to become his wife. And then this is Celine, Selena, and she is involved with her friend Julia to exact revenge on Mr. Malcolm who has apparently slighted Julia in some way shape or form. Anywho I'm looking forward to reading the book and I'm looking forward to watching the movie and if y'all would like a book versus movie type video let me know in the comments down below. The next book that I hope to get through is another romance book and another pink cover surprisingly and that is going to be Fake It Till You Bake It by Jamie Wesley. From what I understand homegirl right here is a reality star who has jilted a proposal on live television and homeboy right here is a baker who is trying to run a bakery and there might be some kind of trouble going on with the bakery. I think he's an ex, yeah, he's an ex professional football player or he is a professional football player. I don't know. Anyway, these two are both at the bakery together and they get caught on camera and people run with the story that they're dating. So it turns into a fake relationship trope, which I personally adore. I love fake relationship type romances. This is a new development for me. I didn't know I love them, but now I'm, I'm all about them. And yeah, this just sounds really cute. Plus, who doesn't love a black man that could bake? I mean, who, who out there has objections to that? Not I. Not I at all. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. And then in terms of like non-fiction-y things, I do want to finish reading Marie Kondo's Karashi at Home, How to Organize Your Space and Achieve Your Ideal Life. I know Miss Kondo is very, very, very divisive with her spark joy style of cleaning and organizing and whatnot, but I actually really, really, really like the idea of the things that you use on a day to day basis sparking some type of joy. I wouldn't go so far as saying joy, just like happiness or like a positive emotion something along those lines. So I'm hoping to get my life right this year. Like I said, I'm going to try and achieve balance in my 2023 goals and lifestyle video. I'm going to keep plugging that. So if you're curious, it's linked somewhere. And um, yeah, I actually started this book back in December and I love it. It has such beautiful, beautiful, beautiful photos. And I wish your other books had photos too, because then I probably would have been more interested in reading them and I would have had my life together far sooner. Yes, I hope to get through this. 
And the last book for my January TBR and the one that I'm currently reading is Eat and Flourish How Food Supports Emotional Well-Being by Mary Beth Albright. Since I have fallen in love with cooking I've been really curious as to how food actually does interact with the human body and how food can influence emotional well-being. So this book was like the perfect perfect title to come across in the library catalog and I was like ooh 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 place a hold on it and that's what I did and that's how I got it. I am two three chapters in and it is absolutely fantastic and I'm absolutely adoring it and I'm very proud of myself for choosing the resolution or the goal of reading at least 12 non-fiction books in 2023 because if I had never set that I would have probably never considered picking this up. So look at me making improvements in my life already. I think I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video that I'm also going to be including my bookish goal for the month and my bookish goal for this month is pretty simple. It is just to get to a bookstore and actually buy a book for myself. There are about three titles that I'm looking for and I'm hoping that they'll be easy for me to come across and I can actually get them from the bookstore and not have to order them from Amazon because Ordering from Amazon makes me feel like an asshole sometimes, so hoping to support my local bookstores. And oh, my lifestyle goal, I actually have one of those this month too, is to implement at least one of the things I'm going to hopefully learn in Marie Kondo's book into my lifestyle. And that's pretty much it. One of my neighbors is starting to do woodworking, so I'm going to try and like wrap this up super duper quick. Um, let's see. Let me know, let me know what some of your January goals are, what you hope to read this month, and yes, thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out with the algorithm. If you would also like to sporadically hear and see me talk about books, hit that subscribe button. And I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and reading wonderful books, and I will catch you in the next one. Toodles! Bye.